I'm with Jan McNeilan, and Jan, you know, everybody holds us to higher standards because we're gardeners or we're professionals, but you know, sometimes I think we all procrastinate, so I'm so glad that you do too. <laughs> well, I wanted to talk today about the fact that, you know, we come on and tell you what exactly what to do, and then we don't do it. So <laughs> It's okay. It's a, it's, I'm not a goody two-shoes gardener. It's just like, I want to enjoy it, and I don't want to fret about it. Sure. So last time we talked about bringing houseplants in, and I I brought some of them in, but <laughs> guess what? I haven't brought them all in. And I know in some parts of Oregon that it would, if you had a greenhouse like this, it all would have frozen. But we happen to not have had a frost here yet, so, or maybe we won't. But it's not too late. I mean, you can still do the things you want to do, but get your list together because there will be a time that it will be too late. Yeah, and things will go right. right. Well, I I pulled some um, gladiolus from the vegetable garden. Uh, Beautiful one of the raised, bulbs. Yeah, one of the raised beds. So I'm going to clean these up, cut them off, and dry them, and then I'll store them for to replant next winter, or next uh, summer. And I brought in some um, some geraniums that I'd like to winter over. I don't know if I will or not. I'll, maybe I'll just bring them into the garage. Mm -hmm. So we've just pretty much brought the fuchsias in. They right. may winter over. They may not. If they don't, that's okay. If they do, that's great. Right. Um, so. We'll, we'll see what happens and what kind of winter we have. So last year I wintered over one fuchsia and, and now I brought these other two baskets in. We'll see what happens. That's, that's always true and it's always opportunity to get something else that you can discover for next year. Right, right. Well, I know we want to go out in the garden because there's some other kind of things we want to kind of lay to rest about what's normal. Right. So and I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, what not to worry about. Right. Well, let's go out there. All right. So Jan, out in the garden, I see a beautiful garden for fall. I mean, the leaves are beautiful, so it's great to be out here at this time of sure. year. Rain or not. Right. Yeah. Well, I wanted to talk a little bit about this. This rhododendron was in shade when we had our three incense cedars. Right. So now it's in more sun, so it isn't more stressed than it was. So it's not the healthiest thing, but it's got set flower buds, beautiful. a lot sure. of flower buds for next year, so it'll look good. But this with a rhododendron or any evergreen, it's normal senescence where the interior leaves drop off okay. on the interior of the plant. And so that same thing happens with evergreens. There's usually about three years worth of needles and then they drop. So you've got Douglas fir where right now we're covered with needles. Right, right. When the first wind comes up, we get a lot of them. And it's not that the firs are dying, it's just very yeah. normal. We have when we have a drier summer, we'll have more needle drop. Okay. We have flagging here on the uh, the western red cedar, and that flagging browning is uh, is normal. Okay. What about big leaf maples? If you're losing a branch, should we really be concerned the whole plant is dying? Is it something else going on? Well, there could be a number of things going on. I, I know. Previously, Cheryl Collier talked about squirrel damage and, mm -hmm. and eating the cambium and killing off a branch. And right. that certainly can be part of an issue with a maple or a deciduous tree. But also with this maple here, uh, this one I happen to know is verticillium wilt. And you'll get flagging there where one whole branch will die off. Okay. And, and so there really isn't anything you're going to do really about either one of them. <laughs> right, right. So just kind of, you can take that, that branch off and kind of just make the tree as healthy as possible. Right, right. And so what I'm saying is um, gardening is supposed to be an enjoyable pastime <laughs> and not to fret too much about everything that's happening out there. Because right. in nature, this all happens without us. And <laughs> we're trying to control nature out here. Right. So leaf dropper, you see uh, flowers out of season. Just kind right. of take it easy and go out and enjoy your garden. Exactly. Really look for big problems. I mean, sure. there could be big problems, oh, sure. but those little things don't sweat it. And really get out in your garden this fall and winter season because there's always something interesting. Something's always happening. Well, thanks so much for all year. We've had just a great time with you. So We'll be back in February. Yep. See you then. All right.